to start off with a 19 millimeter socket, remove all five of your lug nuts, and then take the wheel off. If your wheel is stuck on like this one, go ahead and put on the lug nut for safety, and then use a rubber mallet and tap it from the backside, but always hit the tire, not the rim. You don't want to damage the rim. Remove your lug nut and take the wheel off. Before I continue, I'm going to take a pry bar, put it in here, and wedge it between the pad and the rotor on the inside, and just pull. That'll compress the pistons a little bit, make it easier to remove the caliper. From the backside, remove these two bolts. They're 14 millimeter, and they hold the caliper onto the bracket. And when you remove the caliper, set it up on top of the brake rotor. You don't want it to hang on the brake hose. That'll damage it. Now you can remove your pads. And with an 18 millimeter socket, remove these two bolts, and that holds the bracket onto the knuckle. Remove these bolts and take your bracket right off. Next, you want to take your caliper bracket, remove these anti-rattle clips. Your kit should come with new ones. Take a wire brush and clean off this surface. Just like with the hub, if it's severely pitted and corroded, you're going to need to sand it down, make it nice and flat, smooth. Mine's not too bad, so a wire brush should do the trick. So I have here a new caliper, a new caliper bracket. You still want to grease this area up. You don't want any rust building up in the future. And you do this on both sides. You don't need a lot of grease. You don't want it to squeeze out onto the rotor. Now you take your new anti-rattle clip and just press it on all the way. Make sure it is fully seated. Do the same to the other side. And now what you want to do, you want to take out the slider pins. You want to get enough grease up on this ridge here. That's where the boot seals up. And that's going to prevent water from making its way in. I like to put a little bit of extra grease inside the boot as a reserve of grease, basically not too much, just a little bit. Work it in there. Insert your freshly greased pin. Squeeze it down all the way. If for some reason it doesn't want to squeeze down all the way, it's most likely because there's air stuck in there. So squeeze it, press on it, and squeeze the boot. That's going to press out any excess air. And do the same to this one. Perfect. Now let's get this bracket onto the vehicle. Line up the two bolt holes. And I did clean up the threads on these bolts. If you want to install thread locker, go ahead. But definitely don't put any anti-seize or grease on them. All right, let's snug these up. 136 foot-pounds for both of these. Now before your caliper fully goes on, I'm going to take some grease, add it to these three little ears here. That's going to help the pads operate quietly and smoothly. You don't need a lot, just a little bit to coat it. And then you also want to put some on the outer ring of the pistons here for the same exact reason. And this is also, on top of that, going to prevent water from getting in here and rusting out your piston from the inside out. Go ahead and slide in your pads. I like to put the one with the wear indicator on the inner pad and on the bottom side. That way, as the rotor moves forward, it pulls on this and makes a noise, letting you know that your brakes are low. Now you can take the caliper, slide it up and over, start in the two caliper mounting bolts, and then we'll torque them to 20 foot-pounds. Now, if you are reusing your old caliper, what you're going to want to do is squeeze the pistons in, and I'll show you in a second how to do that. Now, let's say you were reusing your old caliper. You're going to want a tool like this. That's going to help you squeeze in the two pistons evenly, and you just push them back all the way until it bottoms out. And now you can install your old caliper. Of course, again, that's if you are reusing it. Reinstall your wheel. Start on all five of your lug nuts, bottom them out, and torque them to 100 foot-pounds. 